Do you hate health and fitness? Of course not. That's why you're here. But is it possible for you to start making money in the health and wellness industry? Today, we'll talk about how to transform your health and fitness obsession into a cash burning machine. That's right. I'm talking about turning your passion into profit. And if you're someone who loves working out, eating healthy, and helping others achieve their fitness goals, then this video is for you. I've got a step-by-step -step guide that will take you from zero to hero in the health and wellness industry. So buckle up and get ready to make some serious cash while doing what you love, even if you're starting from from scratch with zero dollars. Hey Impactors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Simeon and I'm on a mission to build an international multi-million dollar health and wellness business. And on this channel, we explore the strategies, tools, tips, and tricks to help us live our best lives. Subscribe if you haven't and let's jump straight into it. All right, so what is step number one to turn your health and wellness passion into a side income and hopefully a career? A lot of people focus on the wrong things in the beginning getting a logo, getting a website, getting their six pack apps, being in a perfect shape, getting a photo shoot done before they start promoting their own services. In my opinion, the best way to get started is to lead by example and document your own health and wellness transformation. Whether that's gonna be through the meditation practices you're doing, you're losing or gaining weight, just document the whole process from A to B on your social media profiles, sharing the intimate details and the steps that you're taking in order for you to achieve that result. Many people would argue, yes, I need a certificate first. People care about, am I credible enough to talk about? And it's the imposter syndrome and I totally get it, but people actually appreciate and get motivated by people who are just a step ahead of them. So if you're starting your health and wellness journey, you would be surprised by how many people would start reaching out to you. You just document the results you're getting, how you're getting it and just offer help. And we're not talking about asking for money in exchange, but just documenting on your social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube, and just sharing the details will get enough inbound traffic for you to be able to start having conversations around your health and wellness passion, okay? This is step number one, document. Step number two, now that you're documenting your journey, you have people reaching out, is actually to have conversations with those people. And I know this sounds pretty obvious, but common sense is not common practice. A lot of people, when they have others start reaching out to them, they start to offer immediate help or try to sell services or try to sell packages and programs. What I would personally do in the beginning, and this is what I've done in my personal business to get it going, is to actually have genuine conversations with the people that are reaching out to me, understand what their struggles are, ask them questions, ask them to open up. Why is that they're not getting their results right now? Is it their nutrition's lacking? Is it that they don't know how to exercise? Is it the lack of accountability? Do they not have time to recover properly? figure out what are the things that they struggle with the most and offer free genuine help, but only to the questions they have and what they're asking. Don't try to bombard them with information and sending them stuff. Just have genuine conversations, build relationships, figure out what is that they want and try to help them for free. And I'll tell you why. Now, number three, at this point, your engagement on social media is going up because people are following along your journey. They're commenting below. And some of them are even joining you. They say they got inspired by you. So they maybe now started working out or waking up early to do a walk around the block or just started eating healthy in general. So you start getting those comments of positive engagement and reinforcement. And now combined with the people that you've been talking on social media in your DMs and your messenger inbox are now starting to compile. What you can do then is start getting those results and ask to open up a beta group of people who want to start a program with you for free in exchange of a review or a testimonial. Now, you would be surprised how many people of those that you already help, those that engage with you, would be open to either refer their friends or join themselves into a program that has a more established curriculum, which would be either 20 days, 30 days, 90 days, whatever is the time frame you decide. It could be as short as seven days, by the way. It doesn't have to be long, where you document your process and you combine all the elements that you went through in your own health and wellness transformation and teach it to others. Now you're gonna have your first group of 10 to 20 people that are on the journey with you. The problem here is that because it's free, a lot of those people are not gonna value that service, meaning that you probably end up between one to four testimonials out of the whole beta group. And this is completely normal, don't get discouraged. But now you have the social media engagement, the people actually commenting that you've helped them, got them inspired. Now you have also your first testimonial. So now you have something that you can work with and actually launch your business off the ground and launch it on a stable foundation because all the people that have seen what you've done and haven't yet reached out to you are your potential audience, okay? Now step four, and this is where usually most people try to start skipping the foundation altogether is to become a little bit more strategic about what you do. Now, at this point, you already have enough people reaching out to you. They're asking for help. They're asking what you've done. And usually those people fall within a category. 
and this is what we call a niche. Probably a lot of them are gonna be just like you. So if you're a busy mom, most of them will be moms. If you're a college athlete, it's gonna be the athletes from your team. So usually our first core audience is gonna be the people just like us three months ago that wanna get started on the same journey. But us being strategic now, we can start identifying those pockets so we can tailor our messaging and communication to serve that specific niche. Now, a lot of people get discouraged, but I can help anyone with my services. I can help my mom, my dad, I can help my uncle, my auntie, I can help them gain weight, lose weight with their sleep, I can help them with... I totally agree, you could, but in the beginning, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you focus on a specific core avatar that you're helping, and it's usually the people that are in your situation. So why is it important now to become strategic? Because you can come up with a unique process and a program to take those people through. So for example, if you're a busy mom, you can call it the Red Dress Busy Mom Program. Okay, so now it becomes very relatable to the audience that is following, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do now that we've become strategic, we've outlined our avatar, who they are, what the struggles are, what are their problems, and how we can help them. So this is the core element of step number four. So step number five, now that we have our target audience, we know who they are, how we can help them, we can become strategic about building our online presence and brand. Now that we know that we're serving busy moms between the ages of 23 to let's say 35, we can now come up with a content plan for our social media, we can come up with brand positioning, what are the colors, what is the feel and look that we wanna communicate through our social media profiles, and this way we'll be able to attract more of our ideal target audience, okay? So becoming strategic at this point is very crucial, and keep in mind that your social media is your storefront. And if you're anything like me, you hate posting on social media, you hate um, being open about your personal life, and you don't wanna share what's going on. And I totally get that because I've been there for the longest time ever. So for me, the easiest way to get started was to just write my thoughts out and share as a diary what I'm going through. And of course, I didn't share every single little detail, but I shared the details that are very specific to my health and fitness journey and what I'm struggling there with the most that a lot of the people could relate. So I would suggest highly that you list out all the questions that your audience is struggling with and just start creating content around those topics on social media, whether it's gonna be TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, doesn't matter, whatever is your platform of choice. You can now even use tools such as ChatGPT or any other AI tool to help you circulate those ideas, get some early traction on, but make sure you embed personal stories from your personal experience of the things that you had to overcome to get the transformation you just got in step one, okay? Step five is building up that online presence and also building up your credibility and we're getting close now to the point of you being able to monetize your passion. Now at this point, it's probably been 30 to 60 days and you already got some inbound, you already got some solid testimonials coming in, you already got your kind of feel for what you wanna do because you already know who you wanna serve. So now at this point, we're ramping things up. So we're getting close to the point where we can just hit the ground running. Step number six, now we're posting actively on social media, people are engaging with us. And the thing that I would focus on in this specific part of my journey is to actually outline all the struggles that I had. The early mornings that I had to wake up and I didn't feel like. The days where I didn't cook and prepare my lunch and I had to figure out what to do on the fly. The days where I just had zero energy and didn't want to work out and I did it anyway and what I did. So I would outline what are all the struggles that I've had and I would write my personal stories, that's very important. Don't teach, just share from personal experience. That's always the most helpful and most relatable. And this is why 99% of the personal trainers and coaches fail because they try to preach and teach instead of share openly and walk the walk. So document all the struggles you've been through personally, write the stories of how you overcame those and make these the cornerstone pieces of your strategy for content. As that's gonna bring your audience closer in and it's gonna create that deep connection where they start listening to everything you say and follow you religiously waiting for the next move as we're getting very close to it and now the traction is starting to build up because they've seen the evolution from you getting from point A to point B, you helping some people out. You actually walking the walk, talking the talk, sharing helpful information, but also sharing the struggles which makes it super, super relatable. And now we're getting to the point of no return, which is actually launching your brand new business and career. And this is actually how most of the people start in our social fit motivator program or the people that go through our impactful loop program, they graduate and just with their own transformation, they're able to inspire the circle of influence, the people around them and the people that follow them on social media. And even without realizing it, they're able to launch a career within the space or at least earn some side income because they're being the example and a motivator for those around them. Step number seven, now that you've identified your audience, now that you've built up your social media profile, now that you have the validation and the results of people, it's time to 
package your offering and launch your first beta program. Now, as I said in the beginning, you have the Red Dress Busy Mom program and we can now, with the first group that has been through the program, all the questions, struggles, and people coming to us inbound, come up with the first fleshed out paid version of the program for the challenge or whatever we decide to name our transformation process and actually open up the program to the public. So what I would personally do there is go through all the people that have engaged ever on my social media and I'll keep it very simple. Hey Joanne, I know you've been following my journey and I'm super appreciative of that. I just wanted to let you know that I've been working behind the scenes on my Red Dress Busy Mom program and I would be happy if you support me in any way you can. So if you know anyone that might be interested in the program, please let them know as I'll be launching my better group that is limited to 20 people and I'll shoot them all the details. All right, thanks for the support and have an amazing one. Let me know if you have any help and wellness questions. As you can see, it's offering again value in exchange, offering free help to them, but again, leaving it open for them to be able to help us and bring some people to our business. Now, a lot of those people that followed you along, got free value out of your content, implemented some of the free stuff you shared. So there's the goodwill compounding now. They're going to be more than happy to help you at this point and refer people back to you. Second, you have all those people that went through the first program, the better version, and they built it out with you and they didn't pay a dime, but now, again, you can do the same thing. Reach out and say you're launching a premium version of the program where they can get access to you personally. We're gonna help them get from point A to point B. And you're gonna use that transformation process that you've defined, designed, and already helped people with. So I would do the exact same thing and reach out to them. And then leading up to the start date of the program, I would create social media posts that are documenting and again, sharing behind the scenes of what I've been working on and announcing to the public that I'm gonna be launching that new program, new challenge, new whatever you've built. And it's exactly the same if you're launching a brick and mortar business, these steps apply in that exact sequence. It's just that you have to modify slightly and embed the documentation process of your launching the actual location, whether it's gonna be a yoga studio, Pilates studio, transformation center, gym, whatever is that you're doing personally, you can document the process the exact same way. So that's step number seven, launching your better program. Step number eight is to keep on building those relationships. We're in the relationship business and a lot of people forget that and they focus on them, 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 getting their best results, posting shirtless photos on social media, trying to just mass promote their program without ever talking to people, just sending them to a landing page that they've designed and built meticulously for hours and weeks and months. And they realize that nobody wants to actually buy from them. And the reason for that is that they didn't build a relationship with anyone and are in the relationship business. People trust people, they wanna know that you're relatable, that you care about them. And what I would personally do over the course of the next months and even years and pretty much forever is I would keep on building relationships, both with people that are within the industry that are already working and have health and wellness as a career path. And those who are hopefully in the future clients or even if not clients, I would just you know, build my relationship, build my Rolodex and offer help even for free in exchange of some ideas, of some connections, as that compounding effect is gonna turn on as you keep on promoting your business on social media. More and more people will start coming inbound to you, asking questions, asking for help, and they're referring your business and more clients to you, okay? And by having a relationship with a diverse set of people, you're always getting feedback on what you're doing, how you're doing it, so you can improve that much faster. If you're locked in your house, building by yourself with nobody to see what you're working on, the speed of execution is gonna be so much slower. And I tell that from personal experience because the first product I ever built within the health and wellness space was eight years ago and it took me two and a half years to build. And I didn't sell a single copy because I never shared with the world what I did. I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted it to be the best. And when I actually launched, I realized that it's crickets because I didn't build relationship with anyone. I didn't care about the audience I was serving and I didn't know what they want because I didn't ask them. So if you're in the business, if you're just starting out, please don't do that mistake. I'm sharing my personal experience so you don't make that mistake yourself, okay? Now, step number nine, at this point, you've already generated some cash. And for some of you that may be serious cash, depending on how big is your social media following or how well you're connected with your community or how good you are at the relationship building stage. So at this point, you might even have 20, 30, 40 paying clients, which could usually take between 90 days to six months. Really depends on your time frame and what is your other occupations that you're doing, but you can totally do this part-time, couple hours per day is just enough as 
you've seen that we're only focusing on relationship building, revenue building, and goodwill building activities, okay? So at this point, all the extra income you've earned, I wouldn't necessarily spend it on myself or uh, on buying stuff and replacing my main income. I would totally put it back into the business. So now I would become even more strategic. Now that you have some income coming in, I would look into a branding consultant. I would look on how to improve my social media. I would probably hire an editor. I would get an assistant to help me out, produce more content or reach more people and be more strategic about how to expand my reach. I would take the best performing pieces of content, the ones that are generating the most amount of interest and amplify through paid advertising. I would put up ads on Instagram, on Facebook. I would even advertise on TikTok and make sure that my audience and my reach expires. And at the same time, I would keep on building those relationships and nurture those relationships over time so I can start getting more inbound leads and more clients coming in my way, okay? And last but not least, probably the least sexiest topic of them always, track your metrics. A lot of people, when they start, they just do a bunch of stuff and of course, some of them work, most of them don't, but because they didn't track what's working, they don't know what to focus on. So even if they had early traction and success, they have to stop at some point, go back to their old career or a job because they didn't really pay attention to what's the thing that brought them the results. So monitor, where is the traffic coming from? Is it Instagram your most active platform? Is it Facebook? Is it TikTok? Are people coming from YouTube? Do they land on your website? Do they directly go into your inbox? What are the pieces of content they consume? Keep track of all of that so you can replicate success and repeat it over and over and over again and do it better each and every single time. So this is the way I would personally turn my health and wellness passion into a career and that's exactly what I've done. And I've built a six figure business over the past couple of years and I'm on a mission of now building international health and wellness business to a multi-million dollar empire. And we help our clients through our two programs, Impactful Look for Men and Women, that helps you get an aesthetically pleasing lean physique and then our social fit motivator program that helps people to monetize their passion so if you're into any of those two make sure you check out the links below in the description and as always like comment share hopefully you found this video helpful and keep on learning keep on pushing you got this and i'll see you in the next video